With the news of Elvis's only child passing away last Thursday, the world has been mourning over rock music's first princess that was born into fame and fortune. Over the years, Lisa Marie Presley kept many secrets that she didn't want the world to know about. Hi, I'm Stacey Taylor, and today I'm counting down the top 10 secrets Lisa Marie Presley took to the grave, part two. So, what secrets did you think Lisa wanted to keep hidden? And let us know in the comments below. At number 10, we have her mother had custody of her kids. Back in 2017, Priscilla Presley would confirm that she was caring for Lisa Marie's young children as her kid's father faced explosive allegations after Lisa Marie accused him of sexual misconduct. At the time, Lisa had been going through a very difficult divorce battle, and in the divorce papers filed, Lisa would claim that her twin's dad, Michael Lockwood, was at the subject of a criminal investigation surrounding the fact that she had found inappropriate videos and photographs of younger people on his computer. And while many people were quick to assume that Lisa's children were in foster care, Priscilla would clear up the rumors when she headed to her Facebook to say, there's lots of confusion, commotion, and concern from all the talk circulating. Let me put this to rest. The girls have not been in foster care and never will be. The girls have been with me and they will be until this is all sorted out. While it's unclear why the children were not in the custody of Lisa Marie or Michael Lockwood, authorities would also choose not to open up about the official case involving Michael that had Lisa Marie feeling shocked and horrified after she discovered the photos and videos on his computer. Number nine, bankrupt. By 2004, Lisa Marie Presley would sell off 85% of her interest in the Elvis estate for around $100 million, and it would be the biggest mistake of her life. According to court documents, Lisa Marie declared that she had an income that was around $109,000 a month, and her monthly expenses were around $92,000, which left a narrow margin, especially considering that since since the fall of 2019, she had to pay just three quarters of a million dollars in attorney fees. At the time of the court filing, Lisa Marie had over $3.3 million in major outstanding debt. The biggest debt by far was a line of credit from Barclays Bank UK for more than a million dollars. The rest of the stated debt was dominated by unpaid state federal taxes for years 2017, 2018, and 2021. There were also a few similar things like a Maserati monthly car payment of $1,708. Some of the tax debt was being paid off on a monthly basis, and there was also $280,000 owed to a ghostwriter that was being used for her upcoming tell all memoir. Priscilla has also stated at one point in Lisa's life, she was in debt for $16 million following a disastrous business deal made by her business manager, Barry Siegel. Hey, my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Number eight, scared. Just days before her passing, Lisa Marie Presley would say that she blamed herself every single day for the passing of her son, Benjamin. In an essay written by Lisa, she would write about how painful it was to be judged when a loved one passes in a premature, unnatural, or tragic way, especially if that loved one is your child. The essay was originally published in People in August 2022, and she would say, I already battle with and beat myself up up tirelessly and chronically, blaming myself every single day, and that's hard enough to now live with, but others will judge and blame you too, even secretly or behind your back, which is even more cruel and painful. On top of everything else, later the singer would describe her son as the sweetest and most incredible being that she has ever had the privilege of knowing, and that she said that he reminds her so much of her father, Elvis, on so many levels, and that it actually scared her. Number seven, Axl Rose. Recently, Axl Rose has revealed that he has a secret friendship with Lisa Marie Presley as he opened up about her tragic passing. In an interview with People, the Guns N' Roses singer described her passing as unreal and recalled sending her animal videos to lift her spirits following Benjamin's passing. Axel would also go on to say, I miss my friend Lisa. Her passing, just as her son's or as a kid, her father doesn't seem real. Lisa loved her family, all her children. My heart goes out to them. When Axel went on to describe his efforts and support, of Lisa following Ben's passing, Axel would recall awkwardly broaching the issue of his passing in order to show her that he cared and he wanted her to know that he cared and wanted to comfort her. For years, it's been said that Axel and Lisa had a really tight friendship and that they were known to swap jokes, news articles, and lots of animal videos as a way of raising Lisa's spirits. After the passing of her son, all he wanted was her to be happy at least as much as one could be under the circumstances. 
Axel and Lisa became friends when Axel would hang out with Elvis backstage and Lisa would come to the shows and Axel would also know it was also great to see her as she was always fun and supportive. Number 6 Michael Jackson Just 3 weeks after her first divorce was finalized in 1994, Lisa would find herself getting married to pop icon Michael Jackson following his proposal over the phone. The pair soon then went to the Dominican Republic where she filed for a quick divorce from her husband and then wed Michael in private. She would then later publicly announce her wedding by saying, My married name is Miss Lisa Marie Presley Jackson. My marriage to Michael Jackson took place in a private ceremony outside of the United States weeks ago. But their marriage was rocked by the emerging allegations of accusations of abuse held against Jackson that surrounded younger people. The singer then reportedly became so dependent on Lisa Marie for emotional support while she became concerned about his use of sedative substances. Lisa Marie later said in an interview of Rolling Stone that she had hoped to have saved the trouble singer with the marriage being dogged by theories that the pair had an asexual relationship leading to Lisa Marie appearing in a suggestive video for his hit 1995 You Are Not Alone. The pair would then later get a divorce in 1996 and Lisa Marie is said to have never stop loving him. Number 5 Substance Abuse In Lisa Marie Presley's book I'm Grateful to Be Alive, she opened up about her substance addiction. In the book she would state it was a difficult path to overcome her dependence to substances and put her life back on track. She would also say in recent years that she has seen too many people she loved struggle with addiction and pass away tragically from this epidemic. She would also go on to know that it was time for all of us to say goodbye to the shame surrounding addiction and that we had to stop blaming and judging ourselves and the people around us. In the book, Lisa would specifically mention her children as the purpose to stay sober when she wrote, As I write this, I think of my four children who gave me purpose to heal. And later she would state she was so grateful to be alive and that she had four beautiful children who had given her a sense of purpose and that gave her the strength to carry her through her darkest times. Number 4 Finding Joy Lisa Marie was a singer just like her father and during her time she graced us with three beautiful albums. She also looked to her children for joy and told Healthy Living in 2014 that she was ferociously protective over her children by saying, I smother them in love. They are my priority. That's what I do. That's what I care about. I keep them close to me and make sure they are happy and healthy. And while Lisa Marie's children truly felt inspired by their mom because she was a very strong, smart woman who raised them to do things on their own and not care what people thought, behind her tough shell, the star was breaking and searching for something to help her feel whole again. What Lisa wanted to feel the most was joy and she spent her whole life trying to shed away from the dark and into the light where she could finally feel happy again, like she did when she was a child before she lost her father. Number 3 Scientology While people have recently been researching details about her personal life, one of the most recent questions people have had is how Lisa Marie got involved with the Church of Scientology and her involvement wouldn't be the proudest moment of her life. Lisa Marie was reported to have joined the Church of Scientology shortly after her father's passing in 1977. According to OK Magazine, she was brought to the church by her mother who found it hard to handle Lisa after she got involved in substances in her youth. Lisa's involvement with the church thus began and lasted for several decades. While earlier in her involvement, she would claim that Scientology saved her life. Later on in the cult-like religion, she would take a clean break as she claimed it had taken advantage of her and wanted everything she had when she mentioned, I slowly started to self-destruct. They were taking my soul, my money, my everything. Unlike other former Scientologists, she did not reveal too much about the reason that led her to her decision to leave the church. However, there have been some reports regarding her involvement and she isn't so proud of them. Number 2 Dark Kid At the age of 9, Lisa Marie would lose her father and she would continue to endure a string of passing soon after. When in a two year period, the Lights Out singer also lost her grandfather as well as her great grandfather and aunts. In 2003, she would tell Newsweek magazine, I didn't have much of a runway in life. I was like a deep, dark kid who was always melancholy. Lisa Marie also struggled during her teen years when she started to rebel against her mother Priscilla Presley. While the star claims that she was in a destruction mode, she would then admit in an interview with Playboy that same year that she did anything her mom didn't want her to do from smoking, drinking, substances, boys, whatever she could get her hands on. And that she went through a substance phase for like 3 years and it would cause her to be thrown out of her house by her mom and she would be forced to stay at the Scientology Center. And coming in number 1 today we have 
have the grueling legal battle. Like any mother, no one wants their children to know the grueling details about the failed relationship she has with their father. With Lisa Marie and Michael Lockwood being officially divorced since May of 2021, they had a grueling legal battle. And a lot of her problems she had with Michael, she would keep a secret for her children's sake. The former couple made the decision to part ways in 2016 following 10 years of marriage, but they have been in and out of court for years arguing over everything from custody of their teenage twin daughters to money matters. Five months after the pair finalized their divorce, Lockwood would take Elvis Presley's daughter to court yet again in October of 2021, petitioning for higher child support payments, claiming that he had no steady income at the time. The mother of four fought back saying she couldn't afford it because she was in debt. But Michael alleged that she was still pulling over $200,000 from her rock legend dad's estate and the judge would rule that Lisa Marie would have to cop up $4,600 per month. In March of 2022, Michael would then demand her financial records be made public after his estranged ex refused to share details of her book contract following reports that she was promised at least $3 million to write a memoir on her father as well as her relationship with Michael Jackson. That same month, the musician would also question to know how how much money the mother of his children would be pulling from the Elvis biopic. It's clear that Michael was really interested on leeching Lisa Marie's money and would become really aggressive to get more money and it's clear that he felt he should know all about her income so he could dictate how much of it she should be giving him and this was a secret she kept so she wouldn't hurt her children because she didn't want them to know that their father was a gold digger. Well that's it for this video my little peaches until the next one remember to stay juicy. Oh, 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 oh,